Hey everyone, welcome to the Central PA Fracking Forum. And you've all come here because of the negative effects that fracking can have on you. And you're worried about it. I understand that. And I'm here to inform you about the negatives. Now this is water that comes right from your wells. And you drink it every day. Your family members drink it every day. As well as I do. Now this water can be contaminated. As you can see by this video. I can often hold a standard kitchen match to my water and like I said it is unpredictable but the methane randomly travels with the water and sometimes it will light quite spectacularly. Just like that. which results in approximately 360,000 chemicals in the ground as we speak. Now, here's a picture of a fracking plant. I'm sure you've seen these around because they're popping up everywhere. And the industry claims that they're bringing in jobs and are healthy for the environment. But as well, as I agree, and I'm sure you all have had some experiences of why they are not. Here's a map. Like I said, 9,000 fracking sites in PA. That's an astounding number, and, and it just shows the broad range that it can affect. So here's a map of where the Marcellus Shell drilling is and where the fracking plants are concentrated. The process of fracking is very elaborate. It starts when trucks bring in thousands of gallons of water, millions of gallons of water, because it requires a lot of water to make this fracking process work. So these trucks bring in this water, and... They start drilling 10,000 10, feet down. They have to drill a hole and then horizontally across, as you can see here. And they get this water that they brought in and they mix it with chemicals and sand and they pump it down to break up the rock in the, in the, in the Earth's crust so the natural gas can release back up to the surface where they collect it. Now, the reason they need this sand and chemicals is to keep the ground open and to release the natural gas so they can bring it up. There's no real way that they can contain the chemicals and sand once they shoot it down into the ground. And that is a big cause of concern because it can leak back up into your wells and groundwater. Now that's the process. And it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, but the real question is, what are they pumping down? Now, the fracking industry says they can they don't have to they don't have to tell exactly what they're putting into the ground and that's a huge concern for all of us now here's a diagram that has a possible breakdown of it and of course it is mostly water but there are also additives sand and chemicals and some chemicals are alleged to be chlorine table salt and some chemicals that are used in makeup so we don't want to be drinking that. No one wants to drink that. And we could be right now, as I showed you, with the water. Now, there are other disadvantages along with all these chemicals. Like I said, the fracking fluid is unknown, which is the biggest disadvantage in my opinion, because we don't know what we're drinking. The natural gas and methane could not be co completely collected. Like in the video when uh, the lady could light her well water on fire because they can't collect all these chemicals that are coming back up to the surface. We don't want that. Another disadvantage is that the actual amount of water, you know, we hear about the droughts in California and how all the water is shorted, how we have shortage in water. That's terrible. And fracking is contributing to that problem because they're bringing in so much water to pump down into the ground. Approximately 600 tankers, which hold thousands of gallons in them, are required for one site alone. And then we also have the problem of non-disclosure forms. Now, in my opinion, this is, this is very alarming and concerning because if you do decide to sell your property rights for a lump sum, which the industry is offering, 
They make you sign a form that says you cannot disclose any information to anyone outside. So basically, they're saying you can't tell anyone what's going wrong with fracking. So this, this points to that the industry is trying to cover up for the negative effects that they're causing people. They're trying to cover up for all the terrible water they're, they're, they're giving people and all the, all the terrible environmental pollution they're causing. People can't say this to other people to alarm them. So that's why I'm here trying to tell you that these negative effects are very serious. But those aren't the end of the negatives. There's a lot more. According to the USGS, the United States Geological Service, earthquakes, earthquakes in Pennsylvania, they're possible now because of fracking. As I said, they're pumping all this liquid down into the ground and breaking up the Earth's crust. And this can cause small earthquakes. And they're being recorded right now, according to the USGS. And then these earthquakes can, can cause damage because houses in Pennsylvania are not meant to withstand. We don't live in San Francisco, where they have strong foundations of their houses. We live in Pennsylvania, where, we, where one earthquake can cause millions to billions of dollars in property damage to all the houses in the area. Another disadvantage is it's non-renewable. I mean, they could come in and cause all, this, all these negative effects right now to our land and then quit. Fracking plants are popping up here and there and then within months are shutting down because they drilled everything they could drill out of the land. How bad is this for our environment? Now, I'm experienced in this, in this situation that you guys are all in. A couple years ago, I was about to sell my property rights to a fracking company for a lump sum of cash that they offered me. And I did it, I needed the money. So I sold my property rights to the land and they started drilling only a mile away from my house, as you can see in this picture, just right over the, the ridge there, they started fracking. And I suffer the consequences. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm breaking my non-disclosure form, as you can see, but I suffered the negative consequences. My water was terrible, it was coming out brown. I had to buy a new water filtration system for my house, and I had to keep repairing it because it couldn't keep up with the amount of chemicals that my water was coming in with. And I know some of my neighbors have felt the same effects to them. And I live right here in the western part of Pennsylvania where fracking is very dominant. Now, what should you do? Now, I gave you all the facts, all the negative consequences of fracking that could hurt you and your family. But what should you do? There are many support groups that are against fracking and are trying to put a stop to it. Dirty water, you don't want that for your family. You don't want that for your kids. We, we have to put an end to this. If a, if a fracking industry comes up to you and offers you a lump sum for your land, do the right thing and say no. When does money outweigh, outweigh health? Health is wealth. We need the health. Look at a couple thousand dollars in the long term. Do you want to have ailing liver? Do you want to have all these health problems? No, just for a couple thousand dollars, you don't want that. So pick health. Fracking is generating so many gallons of toxic wastewater and chemicals. It's enough to submerge Washington, D.C. in a 22-foot toxic lagoon. That's how much toxic water and waste they're bringing up every, all every day. And my message to you to end here is fight fracking. You need health. Fight fracking.